diversity is the first thing every type of racing you like not just flat and national hunt but also you've got the high class racing like at york here today you've got the more grassroots racing at like the beverly's of this world or catterick's or red car it's also just a tremendous place to base yourself in the middle of the county and just about four days every week you can go racing so there's never a place that you can't go to that's not within about three quarters of an hour of drive whether you're staying in a hotel or maybe with friends and the other great thing is after racing well we all know about the countryside we all know about the pubs we all know about the local food so for me there's nowhere better than racing in yorkshire Yorkshire Racing has a fantastic heritage of racing in Yorkshire, dating back to the Foundation Stallions in, in the 1700s, where two of the three Foundation Stallions were based not 20 miles from York Racecourse. But in the modern day, we've got nine fantastic racecourses, each with their individual characteristics and, and iconic venues. We've got about 120 trainers. Some of the leading trainers in the land are based in Yorkshire. Richard Fahey, Mark Johnson, uh, a plethora of other trainers who are performing on the, on the national stage. We've got some great jockeys. We've, of course, got the Doncaster Bloodstock Sales, Goffs, Goffs in, in Doncaster, the Northern Racing College. So, so lots of people involved in racing in Yorkshire. About a million people come racing each year on, through the nine race courses. And we're very proud to represent the county across the across across the country and across the globe um, a really strong and thriving racing industry in Yorkshire and the Go Racing in Summer Yorkshire Summer Festival on the 21st to the 29th of July is a great celebration of that eight of the nine race courses race during that week um, we've got the the evening meeting on the 27th of July with Tom James playing after racing and then Skybet York Stakes Day on the Saturday with Boyzone playing after racing fantastic days at York part of a, a wonderful week of racing if people could come racing in the county that week that's fantastic and see all that Yorkshire racing has to offer well it's God's own county isn't it with nine fantastic Yorkshire race courses all so different all so brilliant each one in its own right a terrific place to go but we've got some fantastic places from York at the very top which we think is the best race course in the world right down to well I'm saying right down to it's not right across to Catterick which is one of our smaller tracks red car wonderful places and of course brilliant Beverly we've got nine fantastic places nine great race courses everybody should come racing in Yorkshire we're very lucky in Yorkshire to have uh, so many different race courses and with that we have some fantastic race horses that come there we've got racing at Weatherby we've got some top quality chasers and also at Doncaster and then we've got the flat racing at York where we've had some wonderful horses obviously the um, the Skybet Ebor festival with some brilliant horses and we have them every single year so it's a great great place to come if you've got horses of a lower um, a lower ability um, they're accounted for as well and then the top quality races come August come York those horses are also there. If it's good enough for Frankel, it's good enough for me. The best horse of my lifetime won at Doncaster and at York. He put up just about his best performance in the international at York. Many good horses won on our nine tracks. Many other good ones have been trained at all our training centres. And it's Yorkshire. Even if you do have a losing day, it's a beautiful place and the beer's good too.